Hey everybody, Jay the Haitian Mogul here with another installment of the series. For this video, I'm actually going to talk to you guys about how you can get free traffic. Um, this is going to be a method you can kind of do it on autopilot. How it will help you is if you use this website that I'm actually about to give you now. It's ifttt.com. If this, then that is what it stands for. What it will help you do is, for example, say that you make a post on your website. If you make a post on your website, you can actually set it up to where it makes the post on your website and your fan page, as well as your Twitter account. And um, you can't post to your Instagram, but you can make posts from your Instagram to your um, Twitter account to your fan page. So it basically helps you automate a lot of your social networks as well as other services, so that way you can get them to run for you automatically by you just making the setup. And as well, making the post. So I'm actually gonna get ready to sign in. I don't really have a lot set up with this as of right now, um, mostly because I, I just really wanted to make sure that I had the uh, the the website set up, which is the blog. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, which is what this is gonna be really focused on. Um, as you can see, these are some that are recommended, and you don't have to actually do all of them. Just the ones that you actually have a uh, service and account with. So you see, this is Facebook status update to Twitter. Post your Instagram videos to Facebook. As you guys know, your Instagram page account it actually will post for you on your page if you if you just hit that button. So that's why I don't have that really set up on mine. Um, but you can have them automatically created and put it into a folder for you. You can also get the email. Um, if it's gonna rain or anything like that, which I actually might need to do that. Um, yeah, let me see. And you can even get Google to call your device. So it's like you got a lot of different things that you can actually look at that can help you out. Okay, I don't have this, so I would have to probably create that. So what I'm going to do is I'm leave that one alone. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just show you the ones that I do have right here. So as of right now, I have these ones that's active, the ones that's in color, the ones that's is black and white, and the ones that are not active. Uh, if you new post, photo post by Jay Davis, my third account, then I'm going to tweet it to the page. Same thing right here, tweet it to the page. These are all Twitter related. Then of course you got these tweet your Instagram photos as native photos on Twitter. So it's like instead of them coming via Instagram, they'll come through Instagram, but then they'll show up as if I posted them directly through Twitter. Now this one right here is the one that I actually want you guys to to be aware of. And what I'm going to do is actually show you how to set that up. So once you get your account created, which is free, you come up here and you hit your new applet. Then you click, click here. It says if this, which is you're gonna be your WordPress blog. Wait for it to to come up. If this you see this YouTube and this, this is the the great thing about this is like it's a lot of different things you can do on here. So I'll probably make more videos on how you can use this to your advantage and how you can use it for your business. But for the most part, this is a, a lot of stuff that you can actually do on here. So it's for the one we're usually using now is uh, WordPress. And of course, you can do any post, or you can do it with a post with a category or tag. I usually do any post because I, I want all my posts to show up on my fan page. Then you can, and then that, which would basically be you can make it go to Twitter, you can make it um, send you an email. And then this is the one we're actually gonna use in Facebook pages. You can actually so do another email with Gmail itself. You can actually put this post it through Blogger. It's a lot of different things you can do out here. So of course what I'll do is the Facebook fan pages. And I want to create a link. Okay, you can do any you could do any of these, but for me I usually like to create the link so that it makes it easier for people to actually go to that page. Then for here, you can actually add different things like this one here. I want the URL of the actual post. Because I want that to be accessible and easy to click. Then for the for the message itself, I'll come here and click an ingredient. Is what they call it. So that way I can just display what I want them to see. So for me, I would like them to see the title. I hit space, and then I want them to see the content. And click on to the side, and it's gonna show up like this. Then you create the action. Okay. Now, my action is already created. I'm not gonna create that again. 
but I'm actually going to show you that you know that it, it actually is set up. I'll come up here, and Virginia, as you can read that, it says if any post in your blog create a link on on my page. See that? Now, um, if you have not already set up your account to be linked to here, what I usually like to do is come up here and set it up, which they'll ask you beforehand anyway. <laughs> For any of these, because you have to be able to sign into those accounts so that way you can actually. What is Fleep? That's interesting. You have to be able to sign in, sign into those accounts so that way you can actually um, use it. Go so with this one. I'm actually connected, um, but you can see you can tweet your new blog post, which because it's set up through my fan page, it should go automatically. I'm gonna share a new post. Now I I, I I don't have them automatic because of the fact that uh well actually I do have them automatic. Yeah, I got them automatic. Post your Instagram photos to WordPress, all these different types of things. Publish your new videos as WordPress posts. You can do that as well. And I haven't made any new videos for that page in particular, but I would definitely be working on it. And you come up here and go to settings. And as you can see, this will be right here. Okay, now they'll ask you to of course to edit the connection. Which would basically be you putting in your information like this and being able to just log in. And then once you put the information, you put the blog URL in, your username, and then your password, and you should be straight. And it has make sure that it says active. Okay? And of course, if you want to take it off, you can disconnect those types of things. That is actually how you would use that to promote um, through IFTTT by using the blog. And this is only relevant when it comes to. Your um, you Google Adsense because it's coming because it's working through your blog. So anything that you want to post up here that is is perfect for that, you can definitely search it, and um, you'd be surprised what's up here. You know, there's a lot of things you can do. A lot of things that you can set up just by looking at this. WordPress to Bitly. Hey, I do need that. I'm on Bitly a lot. Okay, and I do have a Bitly account. Yes. And pretty much all my stuff is connected to Bitly. Perfect. And then this is that quick. I was able to actually create that. And you can create put your blog post to Blogger. What did I do? Okay. Well, either way, that's a lot of different things you can actually check out. Um, but you can find it really be on here all day trying to. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> but you can be on find yourself being on it all day trying to actually get um a lot of stuff connected so so that you can you know promote your stuff. So let me know what you guys think if this helps you guys with this, and I'm gonna go into the next video to show you guys how you can promote it on Facebook. All right, and this will be on autopilot. So I'll catch you on the next one.